Oh my God, what a full moon. Red Robe Astrology for September 30th. Yesterday was insane. It, it was for me. Uh, thank God I have astrology. I would never have been able to contextualize yesterday without understanding full moon in Aries, Venus and Uranus. Uh, in a square. So it was a disruptive day yesterday. Today should be a little bit less disruptive, but we're still in an amplified full moon in Aries kind of energy. There's some interesting agitation and clarity, both. Uh, um, both Mercury and the Sun are touching in with Uranus. Mercury is trining Uranus. That means innovative minds, sudden ideas, clear inspiration. But the sun is Seska squaring Uranus. So we also have a backdrop of like nervous restlessness and a tendency for, you know, unconventional behavior. Mars is going to in conjunct Uranus, which is part of the full moon, which means that we're in the potential for changing the path we're on very suddenly or getting hit with something that occurs that we didn't expect that shifts us into some new direction. So today could bring some surprises in that regard. The moon is still, of course, in Aries, so we're fired up. An opposition from the moon to Mars could bring a little, fires us up a little more, could bring a little angry outburst. So a trine to Venus keeps our hearts open, so there's a softening from that. A conjunction uh, 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 from the moon to the north node means we're out and about, we're making connections, it could be a busy day. And the moon in conjunct Mercury means we are, in fact, negotiating a track change or new ideas. Um, the moon will square Pluto at 2.49 p.m. Pacific time, giving us a kind of moment of passion and depth and intensity and a three-hour void. So from around 3 to 6, there's a p.m. Pacific time. There's like a void moon. Try to be in some stillness and, and try not to start something new during those hours. And at 6.17 p.m. Pacific... The moon moves into Taurus. Well, sextile Saturn bringing a really stable ending to what has been two days of fire. Have at it.